So my name is Mark McEwen. I'm a lover of PEI beef, and we're gonna do a chuck eye ribeye steak today. Sort of a forgotten cut of meat. This is what it looks like in total form. You can do it as a roast, just like this. Sear it really well, marinate it. Really, really misunderstood, and not, not really understood at all, and that's the greatest part of it. So if you look at chefs across North America, they're discovering all these as being really, really special pieces. So we're gonna work with that today. I'm gonna to take the liberty of just cutting a beautiful steak right off the top here. About 16 ounces. And that's gonna be the piece of meat we work with. That's a beautiful cut. To start it off, we're doing a roasted garlic rub. Very, very simple. Just a little bit of salt and pepper, olive oil. Cut the cap off the garlic. Just to drop a few herbs in. And what we're gonna do is just seal it up. Very simple. You don't have to do anything fancy around the edge, just nice, neat, pleated folds. That goes in the oven for one hour. And what you land up with is a beautiful paste that looks just like this. In the meantime, we're gonna marinate this. Good olive oil. Good healthy amount of cracked pepper. Good amount of salt. I like, to, I like to salt it and let it sit for 20 minutes. I find it puts a nice little cure on it. Then here we have parsley, sage, and rosemary. I'm gonna put a generous amount of that on. Allow that to sit for approximately 20 minutes. In the meantime, your lemons, you're gonna grill them and allow them to caramelize so the sugar in the lemons, it'll go from bitter to sort of this sweet, almost like a sweet vinaigrette and that will drop over the steak as we're eating it. Now the paste, the garlic paste, very simple. In the bowl, you have mustard, so you have a Dijon mustard, which has nice sharpness to it. We have a grain mustard, that has a bit more texture and earthiness, and then a little bit of balsamic. And again, a little bit of olive oil. So you can see how basic this is. Most difficult thing is just to cook the garlic. We're gonna blend that into a paste. And that's as tough as that is. So the meat's been sitting for about 20 minutes now. We're gonna bring it over to the barbecue. And we're gonna get a good, a good char on that steak. If you're getting a lot of flame on it, because this does have a lot of integrated fat and there's a little bit of oil in the marinade, just sort of bounce it around. I'm not looking to have perfect grill marks on it. I want it to be crusted all around, and that's the important part. I'm gonna pop these lemons on. Just keep them off to the side. They don't need to be on direct heat. So now we're getting ready. We've got a good char all the way around on the meat. We're gonna start applying the garlic paste. Just a nice brushing everywhere. My preference is to have this steak cut fairly generous so that it stays on the barbecue a long time. I have the opportunity to baste it a number of times and you get all those layered, beautiful flavors. That's when you have a fantastic piece of meat. See, this can be your secret recipe. You don't have to tell your neighbor what it is. They'll always wonder what it is. So the meat is just passing over rare. Uh, that's exactly where I like it. So I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna let it rest for about 15 good minutes so that the juices have a chance to cool down and settle down. Just gonna place it on a foil tray. Don't seal it, just cover it. Our lemons are nicely charred and we are ready to eat steak. This should be really good. This steak has rested about 15, 16 minutes. So. This is a wide piece of meat. We're gonna take it straight down the middle, and then we're gonna flip it on the cut side, okay? And we're just gonna cut down once. You have to be very gentle. You need a good sharp knife, and that's our beef. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice char on the outside. You can see the way that it radiates through. It's been cooked very nicely. Mark, why don't you pop in here and we'll uh, sample a little bit of product. Stand back any longer. Let's just do a splash of lemon on the beef. And away we go. A 
the richness of the, the roasted garlic puree with the, with the mustards and the vinegar, the nice charring, the, the beautiful marble on the meat. The quality of the meat is fantastic. Beautiful product. PEI beef. Gotta love it. I don't think you can beat it. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation on the Chuck Eye steak today. I am certainly having a great time eating it. Uh, enjoy the recipe. It's an easy one. Make sure you do it.